What's going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. Guys, today I just got done cleaning out one of my favorite crawdad, um, crawdad hunting spots. Check out the amount of trash down here that I found. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's a whole bag full. This is a big old like 50 gallon bag full of just mostly plastic cans. Uh, pretty sad, pretty ridiculous in my opinion, but I gotta take care of my crawdad spot. Gotta keep it, uh, gotta keep it as clean as possible. There's probably way more down there. I just only brought one bag, kind of underestimated the amount of junk in there. But I did find some cool stuff. Check this out. I do have seven unopened drinks, so I guess that is a bonus for the day. This is might be the prize though. Check this out. This is a Yeti, um, Yeti drink holder, whatever they call this thing, cup Yeti, uh, um, keeps your drinks cold, hot. I'm not exactly sure. My guess is it's gonna be cold. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure those are pretty expensive. If I'm not mistaken, anything Yeti I think is pretty expensive. Found a dude's keys with a Marine Corps lanyard. See if we can find the owner of that, if he's still missing them. And a few hats, Hurley hat. Uh, I think that's a Boston, I'm not a baseball person. I think it's a Boston uh, Red Sox hat. And uh, pardon me if that is incorrect. And I don't know who that is, that might be a local team. Anywho, we got our spot cleaned up. It is time to go get some crawdads for this pretty sweet recipe I'm about to throw down. A lot of people have been asking for it because I cooked a trout in a pineapple. If you wanna see that video, I'm gonna put it like right up here. A little card's gonna appear. I'll also put it down in the description below if you wanna check that recipe out. That was a pretty sweet day of fishing, pretty epic. Go check out that episode. Otherwise, let's go get some crawdads. Let's get hunting. All right, so to start this off, actually the first order of business is I am going to spear a sucker fish in Idaho. It's legal to spear non-game fish. Suckers fall into that category. You can see here the spear didn't actually go, uh, it didn't actually shish kebab the sucker, but it hit it with such force that, look at that, brain shot, it was dead instantly. I was able to just pick it up off the bottom. Uh, so you got to treat those spears like you would any other weapon because those things are dangerous for sure. So anyway, you can see here now that I've actually cut that sucker up into a bunch of little chunks and I'm putting it down on the bottom in different locations on the bottom because I know those crawdads are in all that wood that you see down there. I know they're in there, so I'm just kind of trying to coax them out. Um, certain times of the year the crawdads are just out. They're literally like candy on the bottom. You can go pick them up. Right now they aren't though. We kind of had a late, uh, late spring. Summer was uh, a little late in coming on. So, um, so I've got to get these crawdads out of the wood a little bit. There are a few out, like this bad boy right here. Check out the claws on that guy. Good claw meat in there and tail meat. Love them when they're that size because you kind of, like I said, get that bonus meat in the claws. Another nice looking one. There were a few of them starting to crawl out and about, as you can see. Uh, just really nice crawdads. I've actually been getting a lot of big ones this year recently, so that's been awesome. Oh, almost got away. Couldn't, oh, well, he's gonna try. I do believe I'm able to get back down there and grab him. Gotta avoid those little pinchers because, guys, those claws do hurt, especially at that size. They've got a lot of force uh, in those claws, surprisingly. Doesn't look like it, like it but um, uh, they definitely have uh, definitely have a, a nice crunch there with those claws. Another nice size crawdad. Now, this is only after about 10 minutes of that bait being down there. Check that out. I've got at least half a dozen, maybe seven or eight crawdads hanging out down there. That guy's only got one claw. Looks like he got to a scrap. Uh, but I've got seven or eight of them down there. And now this is where it's easy because they're all just sitting down there. I've coaxed them out of the wood and I just start picking them up like candy off the bottom. Love this. Working smarter, not harder. Well, I guess you could say you had to spear the sucker, so that was extra work, but I enjoy spearing. It's the closest thing to spearing as I'll get here in Idaho, uh, since I ha haven't been able to get back to the islands to do any spearing in the tropical reefs uh, recently. But gathering up a nice, a nice bag full, you can see, there you go, there's a good shot. You see them starting to just come out of all that wood. That is a really cool shot there. They're just starting to make their way out, and uh, that's, that's easy pickings right there. Really easy to get them uh, when they're all starting to come out like that. So that was the strategy today. All right, we are back at my house. I've got the fire going right there and water boiling up right over there. Got my crawdads in my cooler. I actually have probably 
maybe a couple dozen, just enough to be able to cook them up in a couple of different um, pineapples for this recipe. I'm back at my house, had to move the whole operation back here because I am not allowed to make a fire on the river. I called the city up, asked them, was like, hey, if I made it, make it like below the water line or whatever, I actually did this way back in the winter time and uh, asked them if I make it below the water line, can I make a small fire? And they basically treated me like I was on drugs. They're like, what in the world are you thinking? No, you can't. And I was like, well, that's why I called you, you goobers. So I can't make a fire on the river. And this recipe requires a fire because I'm actually gonna cook my pineapple in the fire. So that's why we're back here. Operations move back, fire's looking good. Let me show you how this recipe is gonna get thrown down today. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna take our pineapple and we're gonna cut the top off just like so. Then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to cut out, we're gonna hollow this out so we can fit all our claws and our tail meat in there. And how you can do that is you can start by just like taking a knife and going around. Base. You can just take like an ice cream scoop or a big spoon, take all the chunks out like so. See that, now we got a nice, we're creating a nice hollow cavity there. In fact, we're putting all those juices in a container because we're gonna wanna save those for later down the road. All right, we got our hot water boiling. We're gonna just tip our cooler up, slide all those crawdads in there at once. Perfect. Stir them around a little bit. This is gonna be the preliminary cooking. We're gonna cook them kind of almost like what we did with our beer flavored crawdads. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. We're gonna cook these about maybe two thirds of the way or so, maybe half the way. And then uh, we're gonna cook them the rest of the way in that pineapple juice in the pineapple. Pulling our crawdads out here. Got a nice heaping plate full of them. Check that out. Big old heaping plate of crawdads. Oh, we're almost there. Hang in there with me, guys. We're almost there. All right, check it out. I have taken all of the bodies off of those crawdads, and all we are left with are claws and the tail meat. And so what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna take handfuls of those and stuff them into each one of our pineapples, our hollow pineapples, and then we're gonna stick them right in the fire to cook. Let me show you how we're gonna do this thing. All right, guys, I had to actually dig these out a little bit more because I underestimated how many crawdads I had. So, anywho, actually what I'm gonna do first, now that we're ready to rock and roll, I'm gonna take some of that juice, ladle it in the bottom of each, that way it makes a nice little pool. There's already some juice in there. I'm gonna put a little more in each, that way those bottom crawdads get a lot of good juice. Now we're gonna take and fill each pineapple with a good healthy amount of crawdads, kind of tamp them down in there, pack them in like so. But now what we're gonna do, this is why we saved all this, I'm actually gonna pack in one of these extra juice right over the top so everything is just completely covered in pineapple. Because what I'm hoping, what's what I'm hoping to do, is get that pineapple juice almost like, like a hot tub in there when I set these in the fire, so it's just kind of cooking those crawdads the west rest of the way. In there, there we go. We'll put the lid on that guy. Now for this guy though, I have some of that yes old bay. Now through lots of use and learning, I've learned that it takes quite a bit of Old Bay spices to um, to really bring out that flavor. So you can use quite a bit of it. So I'm actually just gonna kind of move these around, put a ton in here, just really fill it up. So we're gonna have kind of like a spicy crawdad, Cajun spice. Is this a Cajun? I guess, you know, it's it doesn't say it's a Cajun seasoning. It just says it's good for crab and shrimp stuff. So I apologize to anybody if they're offended that I said that was Cajun seasoning. It is not. <laughs> it's just old day seasoning. We're gonna really work that down in there on all those. There we go, just like so. Now we're gonna close that up. But then we're also gonna go ahead and pack a little bit more of the chunk 
on top of those as well. A little juice too. Got our spicy ones going on right there. Just like so. Bam. I'm going to throw a lid on this guy as well. And these are ready to go in our fire. Look at that. Check it out. So I've now got a nice bed of coals going on and what I've done with each of these pineapple is I've actually doubly wrapped them in heavy duty foil so they don't burn up but they'll still get nice and hot and cook. Set pineapple one, number one right there. Ooh, that's hot. And that's all there is to it guys. We've got two pineapple sitting in that fire right on those hot coals. We're gonna let those cook and the nice thing about this is I've got the lids on top so I can actually just poke them with a knife look inside, see if everything's cooked down. We'll probably give these a good probably 15 to 20 minutes over the fire. I'll let you know because as you know, this is my first time doing this. We're all in this together, man. This is, we're all experimenting together. We'll just let them cook. All right, guys, I think we are done. Let's lift the lid on this. It's actually, the juices are starting to come out of there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Start with this guy right here. Set him on a plate. There we go. Guys, check that out. Look, there's juices in there. Those crawdads have been cooking in there. I got steam rolling in off of that. Those are legit. Now these are just the regular crawdads in the pineapple. This isn't the stuff with the Old Bay seasoning. Let's give it a taste. All right, guys. First tail. It'll zoom in on that. There we go. Maiden voyage. Crawdads. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Cooked in pineapple. Here we go. It's definitely got a, like a sweet tang to it. Let's get after a piece of claw here. Claw meat is always more tender. Whoa. There was definitely a punch of sweet pineapple in that claw meat right there. All right, I have removed the other pineapple. Ooh, yeah, I can definitely get the Old Bay coming off of there. And I like that. Oh yeah, there's the juicy goodness. That's the meat we're after right there. That's in that Old Bay seasoning. All right, take two, crawdad in that Old Bay seasoning in the pineapple. Mmm. Oh. I like that way better. I like that way better. That needed spice. It needed some spiciness to it. And that Old Bay is like mwah. In fact, that gets me thinking you could do about any kind of seasoning you like with crayfish, crawdads, crawfish, whatever you call them. Check that out, pulled that claw meat right out of that claw. Super tender in the claw. Yeah, that's way better, way better. Ah, uh, guys, crawdads in pineapple with seasoning for the win. Crawdads just in pineapple is only okay, only okay. You gotta get it in a little seasoning and a little spice. Then you get a little tropical island flavor and a little kick to it and it's that's perfect. That's the way to eat these crawdads if you're gonna do a recipe like this. YouTube fam, thanks so much for tagging along with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's good. I will see you in the next video.